I'm over here watching anime before I go to the gyms. Hey, that that is a good thing right there, okay? The gym is open. Let's go. Um, but we're gonna be going to the gym, right? But while we do that, I want some things to like this camera's heavy as shit. But I, I got some things I kind of want to like get off my chest, say some things, hear what y'all got to say about it in the comments section. Make sure at the end of this video, y'all leave a comment after we get done talking about what we're going to talk about today, right? Um, but we're about to head out, man. My room is kind of dirty as shit. Oh, look, like somebody's on a longboard. Hold on, let me see if I can see that. Uh, there he is, right there. Longboard. You go, boy. But, um, oh, shit, I just fucked up my whole damn blind. Damn it. There it is. Okay, fix it. But as I was saying, so, I got some things I want to talk to you guys about while I'm at the gym. And I got to go pick up some things at Walmart. So, I'm just going to be taking y'all along for the ride. I did work this morning. Uh, with flakes. Uh, <laughs> but I did work this morning. We're on a four-day weekend. And I honestly just want to get a lot of stuff done as far as my personal endeavors and um goals and dreams like on that board back there on that board back there i want to work on some of those this week um and we're going to be talking about one of them in particular that's on there i think it's this one right there is the one i'm trying to talk about so uh that's what we're going to be doing and let's get on with this video all right yeah Alright, so I gotta gather myself real quick. In short, I ever since leaving the, my deployment, or well, during my deployment, um, I've been fixated on my entrepreneurship type of goals and ambitions. So, I kind of hit a roadblock with with one of the ones that I kind of created while I was downrange, and it's a clothing line. Um, I have been coming up with designs and, and all kinds, I got a, a decent amount of designs already created and just waiting to get put onto shirts, but one of the dilemmas I came across today was the price. The price is outrageous, honestly. If you ask me, because there's so much money, there's so much I could do, so much, so a lot of other things I could do with that money. So, like justifying the amount of money it's going to take to get these shirts started, it, I can't get past that mental block of doing it. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, please don't uh, copyright me, but, um, so what I ran into today with this clothing line is the price to get stuff printed. And so whenever I was, I called this one place that one of my friends had referred me to because they do their shirts for them. And I'd originally bought 36 shirts for hundred or uh, $132. Okay. And so I was only going to use 24 of those shirts to get printed and like one of them one set of the shirts is going to do one color another set of the shirts is only going to do two colors and they had set up fees and, and prices for each shirt and so whenever it's all going to be said and done and i was going to be paying for the shirts and stuff like that everything was going to come out to like 350 dollars okay now the thing that i also ran into is not ran into but what I decided, originally decided to do was to sell the, not sell these shirts, but to give these shirts out for free, right? Just send them out to some friends. I really wanted them to get some feedback on them. So initially, 
for me to ask for some money for something that like you know I'm just trying to test out is kind of like crazy as shit to me you know but that's what I kind of like I'm trying to justify I'm trying to justify that $350 well whatever math okay whatever I'm at right now on these shirts to get that stuff started because I could do a lot with $350 like I got some stuff that I'm trying to do for this camera that's like less than $350 you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I feel pretty damn big, man. I mean, I'm looking in the back of this mirror. That stuff look good, man. My gosh. To say I missed like a lot of gym time, like I feel like I ain't really missed the beat. Like talking about it, I think I still look like okay. You know, I still got like fat here and there around like love handles and like the little part of the abdomen. But for the most part, I think I look good. Let's keep doing this. Get some good work in, man. I am excited to be back into the gym. It's not, it's like my second full week of being back in the gym. And so, I think it's going pretty good as far as like everything goes. Last time I did legs though, man. Well, the first time I did legs coming back, my gosh. My shit was sore for the whole week. Uh, let's keep going. Another thing that I kind of like been, been like kind of dealing with and uh, maybe y'all can kind of, yeah, maybe y'all might notice this, but like it takes me a lot longer to get videos made and put up and stuff like that. And one of the things I'm trying to figure out is how to better manage my time so I can edit a video, make a video one day, right? Have it edited and ready to go the next day. But how shit works. If you know, if, for my service members, especially being in like the 82nd and 3rd Brigade, because you know how stuff is like moving really, really fast right now for all of us. And so, trying to manage my time, along with not going crazy at fucking work because we're working so damn much, it's, 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 fucking, it's fucking with the flow of what I'm trying to do as far as like my YouTube goes. And I, I'm, I'm at this like point where I'm trying to figure it out trying but it's not like falling together like how i would like it to go you know what i'm saying so along with military youtube photography for my life on go page you get i need to start putting that shit i need to start plugging that a lot more because i think the shots on that is like pretty dope so life on go is l i f e on regular on and then g e a u x go it's french cajun just like go to Wayne. So, um, yeah.
One other thing I've been thinking about doing is I want to do a physique show so bad. Just because I, I want to do something that's going to like push my boundaries. I, I was I was pretty lean. I was like show worthy at one point in time. Getting out here fresh to brag and everything like that. But now it's kind of like I want to do something else. Because I'm trying to like elevate. Elevate. You know how Drake say. Um, so I don't know. That's just some thoughts. I'm, I'm kind of like giving y'all like an in-depth look into what the fuck I'm trying to do. So I'm going to keep on doing these waist though. I think this set's about to hurt. So... Y'all see, this is where my horse kicked me at, right there. My horse kicked me. This might sound a little conceited, but uh, I think I look damn good to say like I've missed such a big period of Damn, look at that depth of feel right there. That is nice right there. Okay. But I think I've like I've got like uh, I've maintained a damn good physique without going to the gym. Because whenever the gyms weren't open, all I was doing is like cardio and like PT bullshit. So I still think I still think I look good. I don't know, but I feel great. Uh Look great, uh, y'all. I hope y'all's day doing good, man. Okay, y'all day doing good. Let's keep doing this. By the way, bro, I have a crush on. Doja Cat, bro. She is weird and cute and fine at the same time. I don't know, it's weird, but I'm losing her right now. Yeah, Doja Cat. Alright, so we're done with the workout. Uh, we going to uh, uh, yeah, make sure I look good in this camera. Um, but yeah, I gotta go get like some grocery items. So we about to head. Look at that thing over there. That nice ass truck over there. You go, Joyce Lane. Uh, but we gotta go and get like some grocery items. I got some stuff I need. I like a smelling good ass room. Like my, my, my room gotta smell good. If it don't, I'm doing something wrong. So uh I'm about to head to like Walmart or Target or wherever the fuck and we about to get some stuff. So that too. Stay tuned. Part two. So look, this is how I had to pull up to the pump. Right there. They had some people parked right there and I ain't wanna like uh I ain't wanna try and back up. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't got no backup camera. So, like, I don't really know how close I am to you until, like, I hit you. I mean, not hit you. I ain't, that, that ain't never happened. But I'm just saying, like, you, I wouldn't know how close I am, you know, until, like, the worst is, had happened. So, um, we're going to get this diesel and we probably going to try and go. I don't know, bro. It might be the end of the video. It might be. But you just going to have to stay tuned to find out. So, stay tuned.